Uh, we've started another game here. Sue has finished her end of the round, scored three, and now we got this for Gladys. You ready, Gladys? Yes. All right, listen carefully. Here we go. How a secretary can get a raise. One, be on time. Two, work real hard. Three, blank the boss. <laughs> <laughs> Big Brother is watching. How do I say this without going to prison? Just, just use your second answer. <laughs> Welcome to Blank the Boss. Bruce and Tom are introducing a new series. Okay. Ready, Kay? No, oh, yes, I'm writing a letter to my mother, if you don't mind. <laughs> okay, Kay is now finished, so we will call on Gladys. Play it again, Sam. How can you get, get a raise? Be on time. Two, work real hard. Three, blank the boss. What do you put in the blank? Make love. What's that? Make love. Make love. With the boss. The little Italian girl says, make a love the boss. <laughs> make a love the boss. <laughs> make a love the boss. That's her answer. She said, make love. Actually, as you go through your life, you should make love the boss. That's right. Uh, the wise man once said, "Make love the boss." Not me. Make love the boss. <laughs> you really? <laughs> we'll see you folks with later sometime when you're listening. Yeah, would you? Would you oh, like I'm to sorry. show and tell? Oh yeah, the there. program. Marry the boss. Marry the boss. That's one way to get ahead and get a raise. Brett, what do you say? I say I didn't understand that whole thing about make love the boss and all that nonsense. It's all a I'll terrible lie. I'll explain it life. after the break. Oh, right. okay. Well, I said more or less the same thing that Gladys said. I said have an affair with if you're invited. If you're invited. Okay, they give you a match on that. So that's Thank scores. you. One for Thank you, you, Gladys. Thank you, dear. Charles. I didn't go that far. I just kissed the boss. Just kissed the boss. A simple kiss, all right? <laughs> <laughs> all right, there it is. Now, what do you say? Well, uh, I the, the correct answer, I think, would be blackmail, as in our case. But uh, I say <laughs> kiss. <laughs> kiss the boss. What did you say, no Miss Red love. Fox, for 1932? <laughs> Leave her alone. Listen, this what was do a you say there? Persian at one time. <laughs> Polka dot tie man. What, darling? <laughs> well, may we see your answer there? I was just thinking, that secretary could get into a lot of trouble if her boss was Helen Gurley Brown. Yes, yeah. <laughs> she could. Can't go around sitting up. That's no, right. I said kiss and make love to the boss. Kiss yeah. and love. There How it about is. that? It says kiss and love on the yeah. card. Is that a match? There it is. I phrased it as delicately. Right. Okay, what? Kiss every morning except on Fridays. Kiss uh. every morning except on Fridays. So the score at this moment is three to two, and we go to round oh. two and ask Sue to make a selection. I'll try A, please. A is what she wants. Last time she matched. Fanny, Brett, and Charles. So the three of you will not play. The rest will. We'll at lay the picnic, out. At the picnic, huh. one ant said to another ant, now that we've finished eating, let's be mischievous and crawl into Susan's blank. <laughs> I said, uh, the picnic there. You didn't know. Oh, I should write. It was a company picnic. Are you doing You don't write. Oh, you're just doing it, I see, just for a laugh. Did just you know that amusement. Fanny bought that fur from uh, Marlena Dietrich for two dollars and twenty-seven cents? It's beautiful. And sewed it on an old sweater that belonged to her father. It's beautiful. <laughs> huh. Steve, you ready? Well, the last... Oh, uh, oh I'm oh, sorry. Just, I just laid in the slot there. Okay, okay here, here we go. go. All right. Now... I'm never going to help you again. Let's call on <laughs> Sue. At the picnic, one ant said to another ant, now that we've finished eating, let's be mischievous and crawl into Susan's... Pants. Pants. You like that idea? The audience is happy about the fact that Susan's got ants in her pants. <laughs> yes, <laughs> but who whistled? How do you feel about that, Steve? I think it's the most disgraceful thing I've ever... No, let the record show, Gene. The last go-round, I said marry the boss, which was the only wholesome, decent, downright right. American answer to give. But this time, I go along with the crowd. Barry Goldwater actually used to manufacture uh, underwear with ants on it. Ants in the pants. <laughs> and if it's good enough for Barry... Uh, anyway, there it is. Pants. Okay, there's a match. That's true. I'm now, all refreshed. Good. Brett, what do you say now? 
I don't write this time. Oh, you didn't write this time, and neither did Charles. Oh, so, and you didn't write. It's Richard's turn. What Someone Steve help said this is true. man. Barry Goldwater used to manufacture pants in your pants. pants Underwear? Were... Underwear. Yes, the only thing is you couldn't turn left in them. Oh, I see. <laughs> I said pantyhose. Pantyhose. Does that match pants? Of course it does. Certainly it does. Okay. All right. All right, so you're up to five. What do you say, Kay Bell? Well, I was going to say knickers, but yes. instead I said pants. There it is. Okay. So you've got six, and you got your work cut out for you, and we've got a little work cut out for you, and you come back to us after this.